All right. We are on the Hoodoo Trail. And down there, that's the Rio Grande River. So that means on the other side is Mexico. We're way, right along the border. Nothing but a nice valley and everything. Beautiful. I'm watching. Nice formations and everything. Beautiful. I'm start heading down. Look at that. The water looks so fresh and clean right there. Beautiful. Here we are at the Rio Grande River. It's right there. Got some mountains right above us, in front of us right there. Just look at that. That was a nice little bit of rapids. Whew. Uneven footing, easy to slip. It looks so cool. This is a zen moment right here. Look how white these rocks are too. Compared to all the other rocks that were colored. How deep? How do you know? So you see the different hues and shades of green going down below? No. I have my glasses on. So look at the water. You see where the Deep parts go in there? Yeah. You see where the rapids are? So the rapids are from shallow rocks there coming down and it cuts into a curve down below. Basically, if you jump in this water, this is what would happen to your body. You would do this, choo, 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 and then your head, your skull would be bashed on these rocks. That'd be fun. How fresh is the water? Cold. Oh, about 30 degrees. Oh, that is. I wash my hands on the reef. Yeah, where all the cow shit. Just think about it. You get across that ledge, we're in Mexico. Like, just look at the rock formation and stuff. Look at, look at how the cactus are growing out of the side. That just amazes me. Cactus right there. Beautiful though. Either way, this is amazing. I love it. Here. Now. See how swift the current is? Watch this. <laughs> Not that bad. Wait for it. Cool. Just hoping to get it in the more. See if you can beat my record. One. I tried, but too much weight. Oh, here we go, here we go. Perfect, right here. Look at this. Perfect skip rock. All right, all right, all right. Hey, not bad. Light. Beautiful country. Yeah, all right, so we'll take our other tour later on. All right, this is a better angle from where we were. We were all the way over there. Trying to travel a few hundred feet. Literally. And now we got a good picture of the river right there. Basically, this kind of shows where we've been traveling as well, all the way down. 
kind of following that river right there, uh, Rio Grande. Real. Awesome. Yeah, well, let's see. This has a really good echo, too. So. It, it's like a. Go, go! You're talking. The guy that I recognize every single one of those helmets. <laughs> Set up on the road. Man, it's gorgeous. All right, let's travel on. We are on the closed canyon trail and walking on what used to have a river run through, basically. Tell by how soft the ground is with all the small pebbles broken down from the water right there. Dope. Just look at that. Get a walk right alongside the mountain ranges. Woo! Got a lot chillier. And I really need a pee. Look at this. You can hear the cars echo off of the mountain from here. Even though there's no highway on the other side. We're a good mile away from the highway, but still, it's still pretty cool. Oh man, I, that temperature dropped. You can feel it like just like get into like the 40s right here. Oh my God. <laughs> Took off my jacket. And... <sighs> That's cool. How are you doing? Good doing good. How are you doing? Okay. See you again. That. That's awesome. Right there. Woo! <laughs> That's, this is cool. Look at that. Definitely, this is worth a trip itself right here. Can you imagine the river running through here? This kind of reminds me of the scene where like in The Mummy Returns where they're on that blimp running away from the giant tidal wave. Yeah. You can feel that temperature just drop right there. How cool it feels between these mountains right here. Woo! You good? <laughs> well, I got a picture of you. So here we go. Now it's a two way street. You're tiny. I wonder if there's like any fossils between these rocks. You slipped where I slipped. Careful here. Very careful here. I wonder which way the water used to run through here. Uh, 
Um, if I had to guess from the river, I would say we're heading towards the direction of the river. And we're going with the direction of it. I farted in the canyon. I was about to say, like, it's like going, this trail is really not that much. Like, it's not that cool. But, spoke way too soon. This is amazing. I got my own. All right. Careful, it gets a little steep. This is amazing. This is the type of hiking I like. I feel like I'm on a treasure hunt. tripped over the one rock. But there's the water in the hole here with all the vegetation suddenly turning green. How are you doing? Good, doing good? Actually, really want to climb that. Be really fun. Better late than ever. Slow ass walker right there. Uh, there's a cave right there. I'm like so tempted to climb it, but at the same time. What? Like climb all the way up there. You could? I feel like I could, yeah. Not. Getting down would be the hard part here. We have officially reached the end of the trail. We cannot proceed any further because apparently people have broken their legs and were able unable to get up afterwards. So you can see pieces of rescue rope down there. Rescue rope? Mm -hmm. The corner piece. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Little U shape. Uh, Middle of the sand. Are you sure that's not a stick? Yeah, look at the frayed ends. I'm pretty sure this is a stick. But yes, we have reached the end. All that's left is to go back. And I really need to pee. And I want to pee down here. Dude, it looks like somebody else did right there. And there. And there. That's a dog, but I'm talking about down there. We have just started the Contra Bando. Brando? Contrabando? Contrabando. Contrabando trail. And supposedly, according to the maps, it's one of the more difficult trails. But so far, pretty flat surface, but it seems like we're going up towards those mountains by the looks of it. 
So expecting to do some bouldering and some scaling as well. So this could be nice to see where this all leads to. Right now it's currently about 5.02. Yeah, it's a nice introduction of what we're doing. We have walked about a good mile so far. I know it feels like we have. <sighs> Great scenery right there. No cell service, go figure. Yeah. Nice, nice area. I'll continue more once we find a more interesting spot to film because so far this is basically this desert right here in the Chihuahua Desert. Ha. Okay, so we're about two miles into the Contra Brando trail right here and get a little detour off from that way. He's staying by the other Science didn't know where it is, and I just thought this place was pretty cool. It seems to be another river bed right here. You can tell where the water was risen with the color, the coloration right there. This coloration, nice. It looks like it's like the same material that you used to build adobe houses, same type of clay. And it just seems like it goes on over over there. Not bad though. It's pretty dope. Pretty dope. Yeah, there's a mountain we've been hiking along the side. I haven't seen much of nature, wild, I mean, rather wildlife, I mean. So, eh. Still pretty cool, though. Still nice. Pretty dope. And there's the sexy dork all the way over there. Just chilling. Smoking. Currently heading a little bit west from the direction. Not west, sorry. Heading directly east from where we were. All we know is that we need to go west from the highway and we'll be there. So it's good. Let's tune in if we find something else interesting here. Uh, yeah, this is one of the longer hikes we've done so far, or it seems like it will be. Uh, we are now on the Dome Trail. We left the Contra Brando Trail that was basically the West Main Trail as well. And we're currently just started the Dome Trail now, but open scenery all the way around and some gas. It's oh, cool. We started all the way over there. If you can see basically towards the mountain ranges. I don't know if you can see the shack. But that's where we started. Right I'm all in. 15 two minutes of battery life, so hey, we're doing pretty good. Nice. Cool land. It's getting a lot cooler now. Probably got like 40 minutes of sun left. We're hoping to make it to a miner shaft. It's been used back in the 1860s, right? Miner shaft. Mine Cinnabon. Cinnabar, sorry. Cinnabar. If I remember correctly, it's a toxic material. Toxic material. Steels and ores and stuff. Look at the binding agent. Just the steels. Yeah. But don't count me on that because it's been a while. Yeah. So you can look it up right there. Look at that structure right there. It looks like a uh, palace almost on the very end. I think that's the one you were saying that looks like a church. Yeah. The one about one o'clock. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Give it to the I see it. one and a half hour mark on our oh, one and a half hour back, and then we've got about I want to have two hours back to Fort Bend. So that's what it's back around. 
I think you said Fort Bend too. Uh, I'm really enjoying this hiking. Oh, uh, look, there's a uh, information platform right there. Maybe this is it. But look at this, just nice, cool area right here, just so open. I think there's some canisters right there. Let's see. Quicksilver. 1936 Big Bang Ranchers. Homer Wilson and Harrison Smith. Cinnabar. I just mind. So this is it. Let's see here. Another load of protective cinnabar nearby. The other state. So this is where it was? This is silver. This is so... Ah, I was kind of expecting kind of more of some ruins. World War II. At the prospect where you are now, Smith and Wilson directed the first of war over 2,000 feet of drill holes looking for nine of the bar. Yet they came up empty-handed. Subsequent explorations by sublicens a few years later also failed. Ironsville Camp House, house stands as a testament to the unsuccessful Cinnabar exploration that stand here. So it used to be more rocks. Or this is the actual camp house ruins. Huh. Out here, I would like to do this trail. Come out here at about 9 o'clock in the morning. Get our pass. Come out here and do this whole entire, all the way around this 8-mile trail. Yeah, this whole thing is like a day to hike right here yeah. exploring all of it well the main loop is eight miles and then there's a, an additional uh like 16 miles of hiking throughout here as well i didn't really see how that was a difficult hiking trail i guess because it was long or something i guess because of the loop but to me this was pretty damn easy compared to the uh indian lodge trail that we did mm -hmm. or even the uh what was the fort davis trail that we did both of those were significantly more difficult than this. Yeah, it was a lot more steeper. I feel like I could have easily died if I slipped. Yeah, like this right here was easy. We're at two and a half miles in. Eh, well, we got some cool footage right here. Nice scenery. I agree. Want to want to add anything to the camera? I'm out of shape and I'm enjoying this. <laughs> Love you, babe. Give me a kiss. I Love you too. Honestly, this was a good uh, choice. Yeah, get to see the sunset as we're walking back. Right? Oh, that is going to be so beautiful. That's yes. something else I'm going to get on footage right there when we head back. You see the mountain lo mountains change color when the sun starts changing the sky. Again, beautiful day. Like, honestly, got a lot hotter than I thought it would be, but I guess it's because we're in the desert. It's, it's in the 60s right now. Yeah, we popped out at 70-something today, but... This was not a difficult ride, it was just long. Like, it didn't, it didn't even seem like two and a half miles. It wasn't boring. No. I mean, no, like, it, it was just... The scenery out here is gorgeous, and I would honestly love to do the full, like, ten miles or so throughout here. Because, at this point, it's another four miles around the dome. Because that's what they consider the dome out there. Uh, where the rock is? Where the rock is. And then and there's another four miles around it. And then there is uh, the Fresno trail which goes up another six miles i think no three miles is what the sign said and then if you take the west trail all the way back around the west trail is another from this point six miles and it goes all the way back into that uh, golfing town we were in what was it called lagreas yeah ladrias lagreas yeah it felt so out of place though so feel like a country club for like old people that wanted to like do Fun traveling and everything like that. More of the higher class end, I mean. But, I don't know. Not my cup of tea. The bed and breakfast that we're at currently, love it. I think that's way worth it and you get way more of the money's worth. 530 bucks for four nights. And free breakfast. At least, yeah. Here, uh, stop. And you know, we're way back. So I climb this mountain really quick. Just to get a good glimpse of where we are. 
there was a guy up here before. Lonely cowboy. Just, just having his own adventure. That's cool. And that's Stone Mountain right there. There's sexy gas over there. Look at him walk. Left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. Alright. Sun is setting down. It's hard to get over those mountains pretty quick. And we do. There's gonna be a huge shadow cast that's like quickly cover this whole area. So it's gonna be insane. Feels like I'm stepping on glass right there. Like this whole scenery has just been a wonderful experience through and through. Never gets bored. Never gets boring at all. Never gets tiresome. Something that you can just just experience on and on and on. Yeah, Texas has some great, great landscapes. Honestly, amazing environment. It's beautiful. All right. Look at the sky change colors right there. Look at that beautiful horizon over the mountain. <laughs> How did you destroy your natural part of today? Well, my boyfriend farted a lot. Of I'm telling you, I'm one of the greater con contributions to uh, pollution right now. Cow farts got nothing on me. Contributors to pollution. One single man. Let's look at the horizon now and just the sky. Beautiful. I mean, yeah, sure, you get the same sky in the city and everything like that, but seeing it over mountains and a holy, you know, and a totally different deserted location it's, it's just it just seems a lot more beautiful and sentimental almost there yeah we walked all the way down that whole ridge right there Did all the filming. Why am I the one doing all the filming? I don't know, you said you liked it. Oh, okay. I did, I got it. I got it. Oh, trust me, I got the beautiful horizon. Cat claw bush. There's a little cave right there. I'm judging with the footprints, I'm guessing this way. Look for landmarks. Oh, right in front of us. They almost led us to nowhere. That's super convenient. <laughs> Which way do we go? I'm gonna go this way with the hoof prints. Hey, if I was like a survivalist and there was no marker that had an arrow right there, Footprint seems like a very logical choice. It does. All right. If there wasn't an arrow. I'm just saying. I completely skipped over the arrow. <laughs> Here, one second. It's a big flagstone. Ta-da! Our marker. Started Even though there's one right there. Maybe the next time we come back, there'll be 20 rocks on top of it. Dude, that'd be dope. Like, see some of those stones that we've started piling? And people are adding on to it? Gotta pay tribute. Yeah. 
it's definitely getting a lot cooler now. Uh, the sky's changing to a nice reddish color. The moon's out now. All right, basically at the end of the trail, this is where the started. Got a little bit of an overcast. We got a little bit of cast of light right here. This guy go up that bend right there and then we're home free. Ah, it's getting nippy. It's a little bit of a, what did you say that is over there to your right? There we go. So yeah. Reminds you to be more of the moon's being it's more defined. Temperature dropped quite a bit. Definitely feel like we're the only people here. Crazy how quiet it is when there's footsteps. But uh, it was definitely a journey. I wouldn't say it was uh, one of the best hiking trails we took in today. But you know, I loved it. I loved it regardless. Supposedly we were going to do some bouldering if we continued on the path, but we didn't get that far. We didn't want to be traveling in the dark, and especially when you're in the desert. <laughs> When it's dark, it's like you're entering a black hole. It's crazy. Got a bit of a shadow coming over us. Bit of a, one of those clouds are coming. But the whole scenery looks a lot more menacing now without the light. All right. See? Told you. Trust me. Oh, here comes a guy. Hey, park guide, making sure we're getting out of here. I think it's the park. Going, ah, the campground. Campground. Oh. Definitely not park ranger. Looks like they're turning around. First. Tourist. Like Freaking tourist. Ruining this beautiful country. So beautiful, though. I have currently hiked 4.84 miles and we took about a good two hour hike right there. So, you know, definitely got our travel in by footsteps and there's our car. People are unloading right now as we speak. Like I said, we would probably make it with a little bit of a cast. Good shit. Good shit. All right, signing off. Hey everybody, we just wanted to say thank y'all so very much for watching our little miniature adventure series. This was just a fun little experiment. We mostly recorded this for family and friends along the way, but we figured we'd share it with everybody and get it out and about uh, for our friends to see. We had a lot of fun. In total, we probably did about 20 to 25 miles of hiking along our week little trip. And I know we can sit down into about three days and three videos, but I really wanted to get this last video out and get it done right. And that's why I didn't release uh, earlier in the week like we had hoped. Now, if we would have changed anything, we would have recorded more of the process coming up, like little vlog shots and everything, but we're still learning, we're still getting stuff down, and we want to be able to create more content like this in the future if y'all enjoyed it. So if y'all did, comment down below what your favorite thing about this video was, what y'all enjoyed the most about the three-part series, uh, and... I would really like, and so would Luke, we'd like to hear y'all's feedback on everything. But this town was beautiful, the trip was absolutely gorgeous, and we had a lot of fun. Now the things we would change, like I said, was we would record more of the trip coming up. We'd stop, stop the Caves of Sonora, we'd, we'd record our gas stops and everything else, and just kind of like our commentary on the way. Because it was you know, honestly super fun and enjoyable, and there's a lot we didn't even show in this. Uh, 
So yeah, we'll be doing some more stuff like this in the future. We're going to be getting back to the regular video schedule pretty darn soon. Uh, coming in, uh, if you want to see our dog get a bath and be super unhappy and animated, uh, that's going to be next weekend's video. But thank you all again so much for watching everything. And I hope you all enjoy this outro clip of us just leaving out of the town. It was absolutely gorgeous and small and homey. It's only about 1,200 people that live here. So it was a super small and very tight-knit uh, community that tourism helps a lot. Anyways, I'm going to be putting up at the end a quick list of all of our supporters because it really means a lot to y'all that actually actively like, watch, and share this with friends. It helps us grow. Uh, we've gone in the last three weeks from being at 194 subscribers to now we're up to 208. We both, me and Luke, thank y'all so very much. And it really drives and puts forward to, hey, we're doing a good job here be able to get more people out and about and watching. Anyways, love y'all lots, and I hope y'all have a fantastic day, and thank you for putting up with this video being a few days late. Peace out. Again, thank y'all so much for sticking with us through our adventure series. Remember to give these videos a like and share with some friends, and also help us hit our goal of 200 and subscribers by April 8th. We're a couple weeks out and we're super excited to be really growing with y'all. Thank you and love y'all lots.